20 points available in the men's Kieran final. A chance to take the lead in the league. All ready to go. This time it's not about being first and second, it's the win you want. Time for the heavy metal music to play. It's heavy metal sprint time on a Saturday night. All out action for five laps, two of them to get us up to speed behind the Derny. And we've got Jakob Lev at the front, but the Aussies already making their move. And again, it looks like they're hunting in packs, doesn't it? It does, so I just said they wouldn't be working together as a team, but here they are moving together nicely there. Of course, you know your teammate really well. You know that's a safe wheel to follow. You know how they ride. Two laps to go this, Kieran, and they are 1-2 at the moment. It's Cornish at the front at the moment. Cornish is wearing 35. Richardson on his wheel, who's doing the looking around, but here comes the world champion. Lovrason really putting the power through the pedals now. And look at that, he's moved all the way up to first. Or is he? He's being bullied out of position. It's a second acceleration he has to make. It's neck and neck coming into the finish straight. Lovrason is there. He has the speed. He has the win. 20 points to the world champ. And he picks up right where he left off. Despite being pushed all the way, the win has gone to our reigning champion and the world champion. So the men's Kieran looks like this with Harry Lovrason taking maximum points and moving provisionally to the top of the league on night one. Matthew Richardson in second place ahead of Stefan Bertiger with Santiago Ramirez, Yakovlev and Cornish completing the top six all will take points. Now then, no warm-ups allowed here. They've had them already. From first round to semi-final now to women's sprint final. OK, Joe, how does this change? Because we've gone from a three-up sprint to a traditional match sprint, but without the traditional best of three, it's the winner here and that's it. Yeah, winner takes all. One ride, that's it. So the riders will be more comfortable with this format. They're more used to this. So the three rider lineup that we've just seen this evening it is unfamiliar. It's a little bit uncomfortable. This, this is back to sort of their comfort zone in that sense, but, but without that safety buffer of a best of three. But I think when you go into a sprint, you need to race each round as if it is the final. So in terms of the mentality, probably more back what they're used to. Just seeing a very cagey start here. And Hetty van der Waal. Just coming down to the bottom of the track. So Gro going high, you can see her using the bank in here. She's staying well and now she's swooping down and using all that speed. Half a lap to do, still going all the way. And look at that acceleration into turn three. She's already level coming out of turn four. She's in front now. Look at that demonstration from the world champion and looking every bit worthy of wearing those rainbow bands. Mathieu Gros, the first winner and the Champions League leader in the sprints on night one. Confirmation, got number two on her back, but she's number one tonight. Mathilde Gros, the winner of the women's sprint competition on night one. Two decisions still to be made in the sprint leagues. And the league leader tonight pulls on the jersey and walks through the champion's gate. So five laps and first across the line takes the 20 points. A lot at stake here and a lot of looking around now from Capewell. She knows the Derny's about to disappear and now, Joe, the movements can begin. Yeah, this is it. The race is on. We're inside the final three laps now. Capewell just looking around. We're already seeing accelerations here from Bashmanix and Friedrich in that world champion's jersey. Capewell bumped down into second place. Plus Fenix there as Friedrich, who you mentioned, decides that second's not good enough for her. Likes to go long and she's done that. One and a half laps to go, but look at Marta Bayona go. Look at Marta Bayona go. And this crowd is about to erupt. Bayona has the power. Can she hold it? There's Kelsey Mitchell. Mitchell trying to stay on the lead. Mitchell trying to get there. Bayona still going. Half a lap to go. This is quite the performance from Marta Bayona, who's on quite the night here. She goes, she goes, and stays all the way to the line. Marta Bayona. Bringing it home. Watching on a gas, almost in disbelief. That was quite a stunning performance. Well, a huge hat tip to Marta Bayona. And a big warning shot fired across the bars of the likes of Friedrich, Mitchell and the rest. It's certainly not going to be a one-horse race this year. And the league leader, Shanna Bras Fenix. And it's not one of those nights where she's gone and won anything. That consistency, 13 points in the sprint, 
13 points in the Kieran means she's top of the league. Look at that though, Kelsey Mitchell down the bottom. It has been packed with drama and high octane entertainment. It is a repeat of what we saw on the boards of Paris just a few weeks ago. This time though, there's no best of three. It's win and you take the prize. Lose and you wait till next week. Three laps. First across the line wins. It's been cagey as Joanna said. Richards is sticking very close there, not giving himself any rush room at all, but like I say, making it hard for the racing to see where he's going and when he's going to make that move. Both accelerating now. The bell about to ring. Richardson being stuck like glue to the back wheel of Lavresen. Tries to get that position. Gets a little dive down. Opens up one bike length. It's down to a half though because Richardson's gaining. He's on the back wheel. Is he going to come around in time? Does he have the speed? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we've got a new challenger in town. The world champion's been beaten. And Matthew Richardson wins on night one of the UCI Track Champions League. Lavresen is human after all. Matthew Richardson, the new kid on the block. Ali Lavresen, though, is top of the league. So he will be walking through the Champions Gate in a moment's time. Matthew Richardson, though, just two points behind. Vertica at five points in third place.